yes guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video a video that i i really didn't want to be doing i didn't want to be back here talking about another reese james injury but here we are here we are in it big up everybody hit the likes subscribe let us know all your thoughts down in the comment section below big up to every single one of you that's locked in and we're here again we're here again Reese James is yet again out with another injury, and I feel for him. I really do. And it's a shame that we could potentially be talking about another long term layoff for him. Obviously, dependent on what we hear over the next week, but ah, oh, we're here again. And, like, however frustrating it might be for us, we got to understand it's a million times more frustrating for Reese James, especially being the man who can't trust his body, being the man who has to rely on his body to put food on the table every single week, having these constant setbacks, these constant stop-start returns to Chelsea, it must be ridiculous. And Reese dropped a statement yesterday saying, Hello all, I hope and wish you all well. This message is to the people that understand and have respect for what I'm going through. I appreciate you so much. Your support and kind messages go further than you could ever imagine. And just to touch on me, I'm doing okay. I've been better and I've also been worse. Another challenge ahead accepted. Eventually, I'll come out on top against all odds. I, I do like that. He still believes in himself. Lastly, I'd like to touch on the festive period coming. These times are tough for everybody. I wish you all a happy and peaceful festive season. I can't lie. Him talking about the festive period even before we've got the final results of whatever scan he's going for is it's not a great sign. But we did get the reports um, earlier today as well after he dropped the Instagram post where we found out that Reese James is likely to have a scan on Saturday to determine how long he's likely to be out uh, ruled out for with his latest hamstring injury. James and Chelsea are nervously waiting on the scan, with the final results expected to be delivered to them sometime next week. So we're all in a position of limbo for the next week. And to be honest, the coming games as well, because like it's the Christmas period. This is the most packed period of the Premier League season. And we are likely going into this period without Reese James again. Which I know is frustrating for Chelsea fans. It's also frustrating for him. I want to speak about this from the player perspective. I want to speak about this from the club's perspective. But everything that we're seeing doesn't seem to be hinting at a short-term layoff like Maresca was speaking about in the press conference earlier yesterday. Because go wait for a scan. Reese James already talking about um the festive period and everything. We're not even in the festive period. We haven't even hit December yet. God, it's worrying. It's very worrying because like, there's only so many layoffs that Reese can have before people start giving up on him. And I think people have already started doing it. And honestly, I hate to be that guy, but I completely understand anybody that's got to that point with Reese only because Look, giving up after three to four seasons of when he's fit or when he's back to full strength or when he returns, it's not pessimism. It's just, I think some fans have just waited long enough. And that's not where I'm at. My personal opinion of this situation is I, I want to judge Reese James at the end of the season because... Look, I get another knock is terrible. Another knock is so frustrating for him, for us. And it gets to a point where you just need your players to be available if you want to fully be able to rely on them. If you want to fully be able to say that they're one of the best players in their position in the league or in the world. But for me, like I also look back at certain other players who have gone through surgery and then come back and they've had little knocks here or there as well. And I just I don't want to write James off at this point when there is still another second half of the season left to go. And I know people are going to say it's a little bit of hopium. Yes, it is hopium. I will, I will put my hands up right now and I will admit to the masses that I'm just hoping that he comes back and this is a last injury. 
Because if we get to the end of the season and he's had like under 10 appearances for Chelsea or something crazy like that, I can't argue the club down if they look to cash out. Because ultimately, the guy is on 250k a week and you're not playing. You're barely playing. You are barely fit. And I would like to keep him because it's not my money. And I think we still have the best right back depth in the league. But like we've managed his minutes so well over the last month or so. He barely even played against Arsenal. And the man still pulled up with an injury. Like the case to still believe in him is dying. It's just struggling a little bit. For me, it's only because I'm choosing to just stand as a supporter. And I know Reese James's quality, so I'm on my last bag of hopium and I'm just begging and praying that this isn't anything serious. But uh, I understand certain fans who would have already looked at this and been like, look, I, I can't keep saying wait for Reese to come back. I can't keep doing it. I get it. And that's why I also try and speak about things from the player perspective, because I look at Reese James, I'm thinking, imagine how disheartening this must be for him as an individual, because the constant setbacks that this guy goes through year in and year out, it, it's amazing that he is still pushing himself on at this point, because it gets to a point where you just stop trusting in your body. Like, we've got to a point now where we've had to play him on the left-hand side, because it minimizes the amount of running that he has. Maybe we have to focus on trying to get him into that position a little bit more. Maybe we have to talk about playing him in central areas a little bit more. Playing him as a centre-back, maybe in a back three or a back two, depending on how it is in and out of possession. Maybe he has to start competing for a midfield spot or something because all the talk about him maybe being too bulky and too big to play as a right-back with his injury record, it might be true. It might genuinely be true because, look, the guy just can't stay fit. He cannot. And I, I don't know if he comes back if he's going to stay fit because every the one difference to this time and all the other injuries previously is that Reese was rushed back nearly every single time up until now. Maresca has been so wary with the minutes that he's given him. He's on strictly one game a week. I think the only 90-minute game that he played was um, Newcastle. Correct me if I'm wrong. It didn't even start against Arsenal. He came off. Actually, no, I think he started against Manchester United. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, guys. But yeah, like he's barely played and he still pulled up with another knock. So I'm now just hoping it's just like... It's just a something to do with the surgery and like he's come back, he's got another knock. It's partly to do with it and hopefully he just comes back and he's a little bit more safer and secure. But even then I kind of struggle to believe it myself. I'm just hoping that when he comes back, that's it. And that's the last one. And it's just straight hopium, which is just the worst part of the whole thing. But uh, Reese James is, is just needs our support. At least till the end of the season. I think at the end of the season, we can look back at the whole of this season as a whole. And if he hasn't played enough, if he hasn't had enough minutes, if we've missed him, and that's been our biggest problem coming out of the season, we might have to have the uncomfortable conversation about letting him go. And I really hope it doesn't get to that point. But if it does, I understand. It's just Reese James. You know, we're always going to love you regardless because you're proper Chelsea. Your proper Chels. Ah, oh, it's just a shame, isn't it? It's such a shame. But guys, let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Big up to every single one of you that's locked in. I guess we'll be back talking about the Reese James situation next week once we get the final results of the scan. Because apparently, like there was a lot of swelling around um the area that they're checking. So now that the swelling's gone down, they're going to take him for the scan and we will find out the situation that he's in next week. So God willing, God willing that this guy is safe and like it's a minor situation and that we're going to see Reese James back fully fit maybe next week or the week after. God willing, I will be praying for you every single night. So we will see. But 
We also don't need Reese James to beat Leicester. So with that in mind, Chelsea, go do your thing. Smash Leicester City. Um, the preview has already been done. We did that yesterday. So go check it out on the live stream sections of the channel. And we will see you guys tomorrow for the watch along. So big up to every single one of you. Take care. Like and subscribe. Reese James, we love you, mate. And up the Chels. Up the Chels. Bon Pochettino.